I'm Edward Musioke Tilas, and I'm here to present Mark chapter 6 in this series of uh, lead, uh, reading in the New Testament. The Bible says, Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? They asked. What is this wisdom that has been given him, that he even does miracles? Isn't it this the carpenter? Isn't it this Mary's son, and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't these sisters? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, Only in the hometown among his relatives and his own house is a prophet without honor. He could not do any miracle there except lay his hands on the few sick people and heal them. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. Jesus went round teaching from village to village, calling the twelve to him. He sent them out two by two and gave them authority over evil spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing from the journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra tunic. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, shake the dust off your feet when you leave a testimony against them. They went out and preached the people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. King Herod heard about this from Jesus. Uh, from Jesus' name had become well known, some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said he is Elijah, and still others claimed he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, the man I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. From, uh, for Herod himself had given other uh, orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. Indeed, this because of Herodias, his brother's Philip wife, a wife, whom he had married, for John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed and grunge against John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to, because Herod feared John, uh, 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 feared John and protected him, knowing him to be righteous and a holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Verse 21. Finally, the, op uh, the opportune time came on his birthday. Herod gave a banquet for his, uh, for his high officials and the military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Aaron and his dinner guests. The king said to, uh, to the girl, ask me for anything you want and I will give it to you. And, the promise, uh, and he promised her with an oath. Whatever you ask, I will give you. 
up to a half of my kingdom. She went out and said to the mother, What shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once the girl hurried into the king with the request, I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly uh, distressed, but, he, uh, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring down, to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded John in the prison, and then brought back his head on a platter. He presented it to the girl and gave it to her mother. On hearing of this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Verse 30. The apostles gathered round Jesus and reported to him what they had done and told. Then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Verse 32. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them living recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and then got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began reaching them many things. Verse 34. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time it was late in the day. So his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it is already very late. Send uh, the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and the villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take months of months wages. Are we to go and spend the much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said, Five and two fish. Verse that night. And Jesus directed them to have all people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down groups of hundreds and fifties, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up twelve baskets of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of the men who had eaten was 5,000. Verse 45. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boats and then go on ahead of him to Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving, he went up on a mountainside to pray. When evening came, the boat was in the middle of the lake and was alone on land. He saw the disciples training at the oars because the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them, but 
when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is high, don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loss. Their hearts were hardened. Verse 53. When they had crossed over, they landed at Genesaret and hungered there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout uh, they ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on ones so they carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was and where he went into the villages towns or countryside they placed the sick in the uh, in the marketplaces they begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak and the whole who touched him were healed. Thank you very much. That is Mark chapter 6. God bless his word.